Good evening and welcome to another edition of 1905 as we look ahead to tomorrow's FA Cup first round clash against Plymouth Argyle at the Valley. Uh, we are here in the depths of the Valley in the home dressing room uh, as we get ready for the Cup clash. Uh, we're going to take a look at what Lee Bowyer had to say, we're going to take a look at the last game here in SC7 against Plymouth. Uh, we're also going to hear from Steve Gallon from a very special feature we have in Valley Pass. Uh, and we'll also hear from Ian Matson, uh, who gave a great performance again in midweek against Fleetwood. But first, let's hear what Lee Bowyer had to say ahead of tomorrow's game in his press conference. Yeah, like tomorrow's side that we're putting out is, in my eyes, a good side. Um, we've got some youth in there. We've got players with experience in there. We've got some men defenders, you know, like some some good players, some good defenders, and, and we've got some good attacking players. So I feel like we're strong all over the park. Uh, even though we've made a lot of changes from Tuesday, the 11 that's going out there, I expect them to win, and I want them to win. Um the most important thing for me tomorrow, though, is is that we come through it unscathed, you know. Um, but that's that's the most important thing for me, is that, that we don't pick up any injuries. But at the end of the day, these players that are playing, they need to top up on minutes. So this is an opportunity for that to happen, which will keep them in better stead for when the league games then come back around, you know. So um, it's weighing up the pros and cons for everything. That was Lee Bowyer there, the Charlton manager. He'll be hoping for a repeat of the last few games against Plymouth, in which we've seen him get all three points in all of those games. Uh, his first ever game as Charlton manager was against Plymouth, right here at the Valley. Uh, let's take a look back at that and a very memorable goal from Lewis Page. So there you go, a, a great victory against Plymouth Argyle in what was Lee Bowyer's first ever game in charge of Charlton. You can see the full highlights of that game on Valley Pass if you subscribe. Something else you can see on Valley Pass if you subscribe or if you get a streaming pass for tomorrow's game is a very, very special in-depth interview with our director of football, Steve Gallen, in which he talks about a very, very dramatic last year here at the Valley and at the club. And let's take a little snippet of what you can see from that interview. I did tell Thomas this and, and we laughed about it, but me, I, I was with the team in pre-season. We, we only got a few days away, we went to the Belfry up in, in, in the Midlands. And uh, so we had training one day and I, I joined him and uh, I'm on the sideline watching training. And then I got in Lee's car to go back to the hotel. And as we got in Lee's car, Lee had TalkSport on and Jim White had uh, Thomas and God and we... And uh, Jim White said, one of the questions was, well, what about Lee Bowyer? What are you going to do for Lee Bowyer? And as you can imagine, I'm sitting in the car. <laughs> Jacko sitting in the back. We're looking at each other. Who knows What's what the he's, answer going to be here? Who yeah. knows what he's going to say? But he was like, he was very, look, Thomas is very optimistic, isn't he? And enthusiastic. I, I love all of that. And uh, 
he was on, on that phone call and we were all thinking, phew. You can see all 38 minutes of that special interview with Steve Gallen on Valley Pass now if you subscribe or if you get your pass for tomorrow's game. Uh, let's talk about some team news now. Uh, it's going to be a very different side to what we've had out of the last few weeks. Lee Bowyer is going to have the opportunity to, to use his squad and rest some of those players that have played so many games Saturday, Tuesday over the last few weeks. Uh, we know Akin Fainwai is going to be out for four weeks uh, with his injury. Um, but we're going to probably see Marcus Madison tomorrow. Uh, he's set to get some minutes on Saturday and on Tuesday in the Papa John's Trophy against Leighton Orient. Uh, uh, Jason Pearce is expected to play in that game on Tuesday, uh, but probably be too soon for him tomorrow. Um, someone who performed excellently in midweek, Ian Mutson. He's been a, a real great performer since arriving from Chelsea on loan. Uh, in the transfer window. Uh, we kept our cameras trained on him all throughout the game against Fleetwood on Tuesday. Let's take a little look uh, at some of that footage and from what he had to say after that game. Physically, he, he took a few whacks. But what pleased me most is that he gives some back as well. And that pleases me. He said, yeah, the physical, like to win, you have to push and fight. And I loved hearing him say that because we all know he's a good player. But if he's enjoying that side of the game as well, it's even Great team for uh, performance today. And it was a tough game. So we stick together and have the three points, exactly what the coach wants us to do. And we did it, so six wins. So yeah. Good, good stuff. So that was Ian Matson uh, for a very special feature on Valley Pass, but uh, we've given that away for free on our social media channels just to give you an idea of the sort of features you can see on Valley Pass if you do subscribe. Um, that's pretty much it for this episode of 1905. Uh, don't forget to get your pass for just £10 for the game against Plymouth Argyle. First round of the FA Cup tomorrow afternoon here at the Valley. It's only available to fans in the UK though, uh, so that's important to remember. Apologies if you are following from abroad. You can follow all the action uh, on our Twitter accounts and of course our social media channels as usual. Uh, all that's left to say is let's get up for the cup. Up the addicts!